So I got started a couple years ago when I finished up film school, got my degree, and realized, you know, I like film, but I really don't think I want to go to Hollywood and make a career out of it. Well, I've literally been drawing since I could hold a pencil. Well, I never really remember like a point in my life where I just started doing it. I've just always been. Uh, I've been drawing since I was a little kid, and uh, when I was really little, I wanted to be a Disney animator. So that's kind of how I got started. I took a break for a while and went into some other arts like music and stuff, but ultimately I realized that if I was going to do one thing for the rest of my life, I wanted it to be art. any kind of human expression in physical form that we can see or respond to in some way. Being able to express the things in life that you can't express with words. The chance to express your creativity in the best way that you are able. Things that you want to create, things that you want to communicate. Art to me is taking things to represent how you feel or what you want to say in the moment. And it's so great and so fun and there's not just a great execution of art in there there's a really great great narrative behind it or a really great theme behind it that's something I enjoy getting behind when I see it in other people and talking about what makes it great and what makes it a strong piece of work or maybe how it could be pushed a little bit further and that mean, brings me back to my own art and finding those narratives and finding those themes and saying hey this is what I really want to do as an artist and pushing my own work in that direction. So in terms of theme, in terms of essence, what lies beneath each piece I do, that's what drives me. I just want to create. I, I think creativity is one of the coolest things that, that we have as human beings. You know, it's what separates us from animals and stuff. It's just this ability to create and to be creative. And I think that's, uh, that's really what keeps me going. My art is writing, and I do this because it's part of who I am. I don't do it for any other reason than the pure fact that I love it and I'm passionate about it, and this is what, how I want to express myself. When I, when I try to remind myself that I have a lot left to learn, because I'm still only just barely started in this career and in life in general. A lot of times it's just because I'm scared or when I, when I started tattooing, I think I thought it was going to be easier than it was. And uh, it's always a shock when you find out that you actually have to try it something. So I think early on I really thought about quitting and just getting out while I still could, but, you know, I'm too far in now. Um, you know, sometimes I'll think, you know, if I, if I don't draw, for a long time, or if I just like stop being excited about drawing, I feel like maybe I've just like lost the passion for it, and maybe it should just be like a hobby thing, you know. Or maybe you know, maybe I'm just like I just don't care about enough about it to be creative and succeed in it, and maybe I should just like try something else, or I could uh, be more. Uh, financially successful and just make this a hobby thing um, you know it's just those it's those creeping doubts where you're like maybe I'm not good enough or uh, um, th those things like that that make you uh, you know that make me kind of um, uh, kind of reluctant to keep going forward with it Well, any artist will tell you that there is no ultimate goal. Just like any athlete will tell you there is no ultimate prize. It is the next event, the next piece of art, the next game, uh, the next opportunity. I'm only as good as the next piece I'm going to create. I have said that the day, when the day comes, that I have no desire to say anything more with my work, then that's the day I need to do something else. Absolutely just turn and walk away from it. I'm really shy, so it's hard for me to give interviews or um, talk to different people in like galleries and stuff like that. I just get really like 
I wish I could just hand them my paintings, but I can't. I always feel like time is one of my big challenges. I always feel like I never have enough time to, to create, to do what I want to do. And then I think uh, self-confidence, but I think a lot of artists suffer from that problem where they just feel like they're not as good as the person in the book or the person on the internet that they just saw. Word of mouth, Facebook, I update on there probably about almost daily. I do have a blog and it's called No Rhyme for Reason at WordPress. Um, and other than that, I think it's time for me to kind of start, you know, letting people know about my writing and putting it out there. Not moving all over, I guess. I have stickers. People are putting them all over the city and neighboring cities. <laughs> so if you see them, that's, that's me. Right now this is our student show, so this is the best of the best of our students. Uh, I just put something into the show that I put a price tag, so we'll see if someone wants to buy it. The one in the show I put $80, and it is an original piece, 6x10, so I think that that's good. I could have put more. I'm showing in the, um, at the Mogoski Art Colony next month on, the, on May. On May third, for the um, it's like a love, sex, respect, unity show. The the marriage equality show actually fifty percent of all the proceeds from the art go directly to the AIDS Services Foundation of Orange County, which puts on the OC AIDS, AIDS Walk at Disneyland every year. Uh, norm, like normally, like I said earlier, we give ten percent to some kind of a charity. This month is huge because the galleries make no profit. The organizers, the curators make no money at all. Half the money goes to the artists, and half the money goes to uh, OC AIDS Services Foundation. And uh, it's a great cause, and that's what this is all about. It's about making change. So we needed art that was symbolic. We needed art that was specifically on topic, because um, selling art might happen, might not. but. Changing minds, softening hearts, that's what it's really all about. And that's what's happening at the Mikowski Arts Colony in the month of May. I guess currently would be this piece, which is a creature for my own story that I'm currently writing. So I haven't decided if it's going to be a novel or a graphic novel. Time will tell. I'm, I'm teaching mixed media classes because for me it's very important to I, uh, we wanna, I wanna pull people uh, in my classes who um, have this sentence always on, on their lips. I'm not artsy at all and I can't do art, but I think art can do everybody. And um, I think that's very interesting to see how these people, when they come to me, so once I, once I get them, how they transfer on sometimes, because I had a very good friend of mine. She came because I convinced her to come one night and then she, she was very hesitant in the beginning and at the end she was so happy with her piece, she almost cried. And, um, and then she came back and she had a completely different approach to the piece she did. So this piece is called 19 and um I'm like gathering all the little things from my life that have made me like a stronger artist. And um, I have oak leaves coming out of my hair because the oak tree symbolizes strength and like pagan religions. Do something, try something. You can't do wrong. Be inappropriate, be messy. Practice. Uh, try and find things that inspire you constantly be creating new things. I would say just do what you love. Do it your way. And if you're being true to you and doing what you love, it'll all come together eventually. Be professional. Um, if, you're, if you're sending emails or making some kind of you know, cold call, have a website, have something professional that the person can go to and look quickly. Show it to other artists and say, hey, what do you think about this? How does it make you feel? Do you like it? Does it read correctly? You need to show your work. You need to get opinions. You need to have People look at your work, uh, get thoughts about it. Uh, as much as you need to be producing work, work you feel strong about, you need to show it and get people excited about it so they can provide opportunities for you, whatever way they can.